Hi, my name is Melissa Riggs. I'm a graduate student at the University of Texas in Arlington. Today I'm doing a book review on Walk the Walk by Alan Duchman. Alan Duchman is the author of multiple books including Change Your Die, A Tale of Two Valleys, and The Second Coming of Steve Jobs. He was also a correspondent for Fortune, a senior writer and columnist at GQ, a contributing editor at Vanity Fair and New York, and a consultant and le uh, lecturer on subjects of personal and organizational change. The purpose of this book is to focus on the importance of a leader that uses their actions rather than just their words to prompt others to follow them. The book's main idea is that people who are leaders practice what they preach. Anyone can say something, but without the actions, the words mean nothing. The author uses many examples of people in this book to support his idea that leadership is something you do versus something you say. This book would be beneficial for any person in a leadership position or that hopes to be in a leadership position. Also, a person does not have to have a specific title or be in a typical leadership position to benefit from this book. There are many strengths to this book. First off, I found that the book is very easy to read and understand. Throughout the book, Duchman focuses on the role of one or two. The author writes, the most crucial role of a leader is establishing and instilling the one or two values that will be most important for an organization or a movement or a community. Many companies have many values that they try to live up to each and every day. However, the truth is revealed in what the main virtues are when faced with the tough decisions that arouse when being a leader. Not all values will be upheld, and this is where the role of one or two will be seen. One example of this role is Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon. His first virtue was customer, and his second was long term. His message of leadership would be, will build a profitable, enduring company for the long run by putting customers first from the very beginning. One thing that he implemented was allowing customer reviews, which of course could be negative or positive. This move was risky for Amazon, however, he believed that the customers would appreciate their experiences and would come back to shop because they felt that Amazon did everything they could for the customer to be satisfied. Bezos was okay with short-term losses because he knew that it would improve their reputation as a co company in the long run. He was walking the walk and it made Amazon the thriving company that it is today. There are also many benefits for the leader when they walk the walk. The leader is able to not only show what is truly important, but is able to show who and what comes first. The leaders who walk the walk must be willing to share the struggles and the risk uh, they are asking of others. One man, Bill Hewlett, did just this at HP. During the 1970s, the economy was in a recession and many companies were laying off employees. He decided to take, have every employee take one unpaid day off every two weeks, and this included him. Every employee and Hewlett took a pay cut due to this, but it also prevented HP from having to lay employees off because everyone sacrificed. Bill Hewlett is a leader because he shared the struggles with his, all his employees. There are also a few shortcomings to this book as well. The book is very generalized in its plan for leadership. The book emphasizes walking the walk by using examples of what others did but does not give any specific actions that the, leader, uh, that the reader can do. The book also does not stress the importance of other leadership qualities. One example of this was the mayor of New York City, Fiorello LaGuardia. He wanted to be involved with what was going on in his city by witnessing how things actually ran in the government offices. Once he decided to stand in the line with people who were waiting to file for unemployment checks. The lines were moving too slow due to clerks who were just hanging out. LaGuardia was so upset by what he saw that he became physical by knocking an attendant down and yelling at the supervisor to do his job. LaGuardia obviously walked the walk, but in moments did not show any signs of leadership. Overall, I do believe that the author was able to achieve his objectives in writing this book. He was able to justify his goals, uh, his ideas with many examples throughout history of leadership who were able to achieve their goals for their organization by walking the walk. He emphasizes that leaders must walk the walk every day in everything they do to be a great leader. Duchman ends the book by stating, the final proof of leadership isn't having new ideas. 
is pursuing an idea obsessively with every action in every moment with everyone watching for many years or even decades. That's when you're a real leader. I would definitely recommend this book. Even with the shortcomings identified, I believe that the author makes many valid points on the benefits of being a leader that walks the walk. This book would be a great book for a person wanting to broaden their thinking about their own leadership skills and how to incorporate what we say into what we do. Actions do uh, speak louder than our words. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my book review on Walk the Walk.